The woke outrage mob wins again, this time Sam Elliott being the one to bend the knee to the SJW crowd after what he said in his interview with the WTF podcast, where he basically was completely roasting the movie Power of the Dog, which is like a woke anti-American Western film, which is super weird to have anti-American and Western in the same uh, sentence in the first place. But Sam Elliott was roasting that film for a lot of the problems that that film has and those are still problems whether uh sam elliott you know walks back on those statements or not but sam elliott unfortunately has decided that he is going to cave he is going to bend the knee and that is exactly what he does here i am disappointed and to hear this to see this but i can't really say i'm all that surprised because to be honest i was more surprised that sam elliott wasn't bending the knee for so long and that it took this long for him to do so but unfortunately, once again, the outrage mob wins again. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what this is all about. I have a video clip here of what Sam Elliott says in response to all of this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, Sam. So so basically, this was at, uh, I don't know, some award show or, or something like that. So let's just go ahead and check it out. You know, you had some uh, well-publicized comments in a podcast AKA Sam, you said some things that went against the narrative. Um, no, and you had where you had mentioned Power of the Dog and Jane Campion, and they seemed far afield of the guy I met and spent a bit of time with down there on that Texas set. And I, and I, you know, every now and then a cowboy falls off his horse. So I just wanted to put it out there. Is there anything that maybe you want to say to sort of clarify, um, you know, that? This is so soy and cringe already that it's ugh, makes me want to gag. <laughs> yeah, first don't go do a podcast whose call letters are WTF. <laughs> that movie stuck struck a chord with me. And in trying to tell the guy, the WTF guy, how I felt about the film. I wasn't very articulate about Ah, uh, yes, he wasn't very articulate. Okay. <laughs> it. I didn't articulate it very well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I said some things that hurt people. And I feel terrible about that. The gay community has been incredible to me. I just, I just want to ask. Okay, I, he's obviously giving his little groveling, whatever. But um, who, who was hurt? Who was hurt by his comments? Because if we're gonna talk about words being hurtful, do you want me to pull up the entire novel of hateful and hurtful things? Hurtful, quote unquote, things that Hollywood celebrities continue to say against conservatives, against Trump supporters, against Christians. Do you want me to pull that novel out? Because I can. But we aren't talking, of course, it's fine to be hurtful in some situations, but it's not in others, according to the standard that is set by Hollywood. So I'm just going to point that out. If, if I don't think that there's anybody actually hurt by what he says. To be honest, but all of that aside, it, my entire career, and I mean my entire career from before I got started when I was in this town, friends on every level, in every job description. There was just gay people everywhere. Every other person I was talking to was gay. <laughs> Up until today with my agent my dear friend my agent of a number of years and i'm sorry that i hurt any of those friends and someone that i loved and anyone else by the words that i used he, he literally just said hurt by the words that i use okay sure Maybe there's some people that can get offended by what you say, but if you are hinging everything on the words of some random actor from Hollywood, 
then maybe more of the problem is on you than anyone else. <laughs> I also told this what the F podcaster that I thought Jane Campion was a brilliant director. And I want to apologize. There you go. Jane Campion has won right there. The raging, crazy feminist has just won because Sam Elliott bent the knee to her and groveled to her. And, of course, he continues on. He, he apologized to Benedict Cumberpatch and everyone else on the cast and everything else. So he just continues on. He just continues on and on and on until, finally, he is accepted once again back into the woke fold. So good job, Sam Elliott, on that. Good job just sticking to your guns like the true rough and tough cowboy that you are apparently but anyways <laughs> it's all just ridiculous and like i said it doesn't surprise me okay it doesn't surprise me that that sam elliott has done this it doesn't surprise me at all in fact like i said it surprised me that it took this long but all of that aside you know i i just i just it continues to drive me absolutely crazy that if you say the wrong things that go against the narrative then you will be pressured by Hollywood until you cave, bend the knee, apologize, whatever it takes. Because at the end of the day, the wokeness is a religion and Sam Elliott fell out of grace from the religion and he had to repent and return to the fold. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. What do you think about what Sam Elliott says here? Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you in another video soon.